Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the Cocktail ROM version 2 for our Galaxy J7 2016 and the Cocktail ROM is a combination of various features and mods uh, like no extra customization but small small features and mods uh, which are present in the not present in the stock ROM and which are added and it's pure stock like thing uh, no extra UI changes and all that stuff so let's start the review Now the first thing we all will be noticed while uh, using this phone is the native blur and you can see the app draw looks really clean with the native blur and the background blur also all the text is going to be getting read also we can get this edge screen uh, edge panels not the edge screen and the edge panels we also do have the native blur so it looks really clean also in the power menu and the uh, quick settings uh, sorry the settings menu of the launcher now going to the home screen settings uh, we get some uh, extra modifications which is the background blur so we'll need to review the device for that and uh, icon text so this one is also awesome thing so just rebooting home screen it means it will force stop and you can see no text for these icons and it looks clean okay if you want a without text home screen and the app drawer you are ready to go for this awesome mod. At the top of the quick settings we get this multi-user icon. Also down below we get the S search bar. And here we get the quick settings, oh sorry, the quick connect uh, to connect your devices such as the TV or headphones. Now we also get the performance mode here. So you can set it according to what you are using gaming, entertainment or high performance. Into settings, connections, coming down we get the SIM card selector. And here you can turn on your sim card selector to intercept all outgoing calls and redirect them from the sim card you will need. Inside settings display we get the status bar show. So this is like the immersive mode which, uh, which will hide your status bar. So if you choose hide, it will hide. And if you choose show, it will show. Now into the status bar options, we get some extra options like the battery. So the battery I go in the status bar. So if you disable it, it will be disabled sim card clock user icon finder so you can like just uh, change all this stuff uh, so it will just reboot some system ui and you will see the changes here about the data usage and all so yeah it will take some time to refresh and you will need to just reboot the system ui for that so guys we also get the navigation bar uh, option here but i will recommend you no, guys not to use it because let me show you what happens after so you need to reboot the system to apply the navbar so i will show you what happens exactly so guys the phone has been rebooted we have got the navbar but look at the app drawer uh, we can only get the 4x6 uh, uh, 4x6 grid uh, so we can see uh, going into home screen settings into the app screen grid and when you set 5 into 5 it doesn't get being applied so this is the part. we get these two options in the advanced features with the volume music control and the flashlight so the volume music control when screen off is just increasing the volume and the flashlight function also works really awesome you can see uh, here it turned the uh, flashlight okay screen off turning on the flashlight again pressing the volume up and turning off the flashlight. in the lock screen and security we get the same same options which have been seen in the version one which is the horizontal clock style the items on lock screen the multiple wallpapers so you can just choose your multiple wallpapers here